So I want to share with you here a stunning discovery that I made uh, this morning. So let's uh, look at what I've got here on the screen. This is the uh, Albert Barnes White Horse, which is a beautiful, stunning part of the landscape in the UK. Uh, the ecliptic line that we're going to study that uh, was a line of megaliths that were used to help predict eclipses. And the Albert Barnes White Horse is on this line. Now, uh, David Kenworthy, who's helped me out here, is a great metrologist. He found in his study of the Casterly Camp, which was one of the uh, sites on the megalithic sites on that ecliptic line, uh, and talking with the people there, they told him about another white horse that was here at Bratton Camp. So let's look at this one. So we're going to move up close here, and we're going to see another white horse, this one facing north and south. The one we just looked at was, you know, as if it was riding east to west, but look at this one. What a stunning part of the landscape. So you can see I've got this yellow line that goes from the rear hoof of the Bratton Camp White Horse to the rear hoof of the Albert Barnes uh, White Horse. So I want to show you what the measurement is here. So let me put the measuring tool on here in Google Earth, and we'll put the starting point. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's, so we're right there. We're starting at the rear hoof there. And so now we're going to go up to uh, the Albert Barnes white horse, again, which is on the ecliptic line we're going to be studying. So let's go right there and let's zoom in now. So we're measuring from rear hoof to rear hoof here with Google Earth. So look at this. Look at this stunning, this stunning fixture of the landscape. Isn't it just a beautiful horse that's uh, mounded up there? Okay, so let's get close so we can get a fairly accurate measurement here. So let's come in there and let's bring the line in here and look at we're at 7, 9, 200 feet right from hoof to hoof. So you can see right here it says seven. So I want to take a screenshot of that. So let's take a screenshot so I can have this. It shows the 79200 feet. Now that's amazing because the received metrology says that the Earth has a diameter of 7,920 miles. And that's roughly the average now between the uh, polar and the equatorial uh, diameter of the Earth. And uh, it's the received uh, dimension of the Earth that we get from the ancients. Now, the Earth could have been a slightly different size than because of floods and you know tsunamis, whatever. But 7920 is the received diameter of the size of planet Earth. 79200 between these two horses, that just says to me, and the, and the horses are in a different orientation. It, it sort of indicates the Earth's going to shift or a pole shift or something. But it's, it's a uh, it's an incredible finding, and this is just one of many that uh, David has come up with and that I've discovered here. So plan to come with us. This is going to be a, uh, just a, a remarkable time studying these megaliths, and we'll go to some nice places like Oxford and uh, London, and uh, you're going to have a great time. So come with us on this megalithic tour.